This is the history of the beginning of the Barton United FC. The story begins in the mid-2014. We established Barton United Football Club as means to immigrate young Afghans and other immigrants into Australian society. The intention and the main goal of the club has since been to involve youth, families and communities to better communicate and understand Australian values and to mingle with the rest of the community as, as one. The prime purpose of the Barton United Football Club has been and will always be to love a beautiful soccer game and through it create awareness within the communities to reduce crime by involving youth. In the effort to re revive and sustain all sporting activities, particularly soccer within the Afghan community, as well as positively influencing and teaching leaderships to our children and families. A number of former Afghan players, supporters, and took this innovative to establish a non-profit organization called Barton United Football Club. This club is not affiliated with any political, religious, or partial groups. Its aim is to solely to function as a support mechanism for soccer in Melbourne and eventually across Australia to, to promote supporting communities domestically. Its main object, to encourage in active participation of children and adults and to revitalise soccer within Australian Afghan community. To help the, promote positive growth of the youth in our communities with a healthy emphasis on responsibilities to empower young children and adults through sport, particularly soccer, to provide much needed financial, emotional support for our youth soccer players and clubs within communities, to encourage, promote and support talented Afghan athletes that could represent Australia on an international level, to establish unity and sportsmanship among athletes and to provide opportunities to participate in tournaments in Australian communities, to help children from refraining and staying away from drugs and other negative influences. Barton United Football Club by laws and procedures. This club shall be known as the Barton United Football Club Incorporated. This club is a tax exempt organisation under the federal and state law and shall remain its tax exempt status. Its purpose. The purpose of this club shall be to revitalise and promote soccer through the sustained growth and nurturing of soccer throughout the Afghan community, here and in Af Afghanistan. Affiliations. This club shall have no affiliation with any religious, political government and non-government racial or special integrated interest groups. Boundaries and territories. This club has no boundaries and can attract members from all over the world. The membership. Membership in this club is voluntary and shall be open to all, including adults and children. Participation in the activity of this club shall be open to all interested parties. Aziz Salam, Khidmat Tamum, Alakarandan Football. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rashad Fazl. I am the president of uh, Barton United Football Club. And the football club as a Barton is a three is a starting 2014. Uh, that time I'm still coaching to Berwick City and uh, other club also. That uh, the 2014 I saw the kids is a good talenter and it's can afford it the club. Uh, and as uh, the kids is good is sweet and they can afford it. the soccer club and the most of the kids as I saw it there's uh, not of any activity to joining the other community because there's a financial problem as of his family he can afford it and uh, I thinking what I discussed with my wife and my friends talking let's go to make it some club to helping the family helping the kids because the kids has can afford it must these kids as play soccer the purpose for the this club is starting from 2014 so i come with a, our friend to to uh, one 
one of the bigger community to Afghan here. And the guy's name is uh, Pasha Nuri from the president of the mosque. And I go to, I tell, I need it. I need some help from you guys to help me to make it created the club, the soccer club. And he's introduced me with some other friends. His name is um, Arun Baluch, uh, Sadiq Ahmadi, um, Jamal, Dr. Humayun, and um, the other friends. His uh, name is Temur. Uh, after that one, I slowly is starting the training for the kids. The one they want as a ground I hiring the time. Starting from six kids, slowly is has come to other parents is joining with us, like the multicultural from Pakistan, India, Afghan, Aussie. Slowly, I bring the cases together, and three years of winning the uh, league from soccer five. That time I not have uh, ground, and the kids is enjoy, and almost all of them, all of them is come to, together, jailing the multiculturalism. The kids can afford the club, and my friend is uh, Arun Baluch has helped me the coaching, and uh, another coach is a uh, Temur, to, uh, has helped me, Temur Azazoy. Uh, after slowly, to I apply for the council for the ground and registering uh, the club for the football Victoria. Slowly, to uh, pushing to until 2016, to. Uh, has helped me, Anthony Burnt, I got at the ground from Ellesmith Primary School. Uh, after that one, starting from 14 to the girls, one girls, uh, under 12, under 13, and under 10. Uh, 2017, registered at the club, 2018. And 2018, I winning the league uh, for my under 14. And 2019, again, I winning the league. And after that, I apply for the big ground because a lot of cases come to join with us. Because of the, how was the club uh, is higher quality training and the law fees around the Victoria. Uh, and the second is always a friendly, the coaches, the family has come together like it's a one family. And different multiculturalism, as uh, the cases come together, is join it. And everyone is here, is here like it's a family club. All calling to all the, the Barton United, the family club. Helping for the side, the soccer, the, like anything needed help for the other stuff. The, the club uh, board member, coaches, has come together to quickly is going to help with these parents and their kids. After that, I got it 2019. To I moved from Nary Warren to I came Cranbourne West. Uh, the two, 2020, the COVID, uh, 19 COVID is a uh, lockdown. And 2021, from 14 to jump up to 12 team. And as half a season, I running the girls as a win the state three league. And the boys, uh, senior boys, I've got a senior boys is starting from Metro 1 to winning the league also. Under 17, uh, 16 winning the league to go to under 18. And this half season is run and half after COVID back is starting here, lockdown everyone to there to start slowly back uh, 2021. The after season run and 2022, I got 16 team from age is uh, six years old, from five years old uh, until five to eight, eight to nine, nine to 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, and 18. Senior boys, senior women's team to 16 teams are got it and 16 coaches. Everyone like is a family treated, the kids helping the kids, um, joining together. Sometimes the parents has come forward, is make it uh, with the training time, helping the coaches and the kids, make it created the kids. 
the 2020 is a very good season for us. The our brother the stayed five, the boys said five, the first year is finishing third, and the girls is good to stay two, finishing um, fifth, and uh, the under 18 winning the Southeast League league and winning the Victoria Champion League and uh, under 14 is ever the same uh, winning the league and uh, winning the uh, Champion League for the Victoria League and under 12 also is the same a lot of cases are talented I give you confidence for these kids and this case is created for the future for the Australia national team level and uh, some girls are training here, the, there's a uh, coaches training and the team manager is uh, treated like as a family. And some of them are present. This uh, girls is going to the MPL club. Now joining these girls from South Melbourne. Uh, a lot of like as a different clubs, the MPL, the higher league. This girls is joined. I'm proud of all of them rather for the all the coaches working hard uh, is not get off any the raining and the cold all of them is stand the ground and teaching the kids to make it the cases get back as a confidence and is make it uh, top scorer good uh, teamwork and always helping each other something happened the parents the coach team manager and the parents, some parents can bring the kids for the game time and the parents is going is pick it up from his home, dropping back his home. I like thank for all the parents is supporting each other. And that club, this is a good success to calling the Barton United family success, the club. And there's the side is the Afghan community is starting the soccer uh, the season is playing some senior boys, senior girls for uh, Barton United Football Club. And this uh, off season as at the Afghan tournament once a year around Australia is running. There's a um, good, the senior boys know it. Uh, I was a senior player, but he's a co also is a coach for under 15. He is uh, playing for FIFA boys. The Afghan community is starting the 2000, I think 2006, the time I'm not here, to before these guys are starting. And uh, a lot of the good talent are the younger kids, and as a, some of the good girls, there's a good talent. Are, um, that's why I make it that club, and I bring it the club to train it to higher level and presenting for the Australian league to stay two and as a, the sum of them is joining with the MPL club, they are the same like as ours. Afghan boys from young ages training, the high training it get then slowly is going to joining the higher league, the state one, and some of them is joining the MPL club and moving. There's a lot of these MPL player I have at the uh, Afghan MPL player to is playing for Denmark City, Daniel Thunder, Pascal and that is boys the season is playing for different club and the end of season is coming back. The Afghan community to running the once a year tournament uh, around Australia. So one year is over Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, uh, Sydney, Queensland. Uh, 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 the other one, the last year is at the Sydney, and the boys is a win. Uh, and some of them is about this now is joining with us, the senior boys uh, from Ome DFC uh, is winning the Unite Cup and this Afghan tournament. Also, the once a year, the Unite Cup around the U all country to is come together as train as make it game. Uh, starting the game from I think is for two weeks to three weeks and the, uh, this three years on the road the uh, Afghan boys is a win the from uh, good achievement for the Afghan community 
uh, as a one as a Afghan Premier, uh, the other one as a Omed UFC, and as a more as a uh, teams as now is about 20 team I have the Afghan tournament is joining the Afghan because most uh, Afghan kids as playing soccer girls and boys and at the first year is uh, the one team now is of a each state is of a one girls team is a Sydney uh, Melbourne is of a two team sometimes they get three team for the girls team Adelaide uh, Brisbane uh, the other one has come the last year as a winning Adelaide, the league, and uh, the Sydney as a win the Afghan girls to, as a, for uh, playing the season to, for Barton, and the off season as a playing for the Melbourne United. Afghan girls as a, as a trophy is there, and the senior boys also uh, playing the season for the Barton United Football Club, and uh, off season playing for the Afghan tournament and uh, the FIFA boys is a winning 2019 leagues and uh, uh, 2019 and 2018 the league is win and the other one as a uh, the girls as a win uh, 2016 Sydney and 2019 uh, 2022 uh, winning again the girls as ever from Sydney uh, competition to around the all Afghan tournament. Afghan has come together there, the Sydney. And the boys is uh, from Oqab also as a win 2080 Easter tournament and 2090s Easter tournament. And the boys also is a winning uh, the cap, the 2090 Easter tournament. And the once a year, this uh, Afghan community uh, is good thing for the Afghan uh, community is to come together as make it success. Uh, the kids give it to opportunity, opening opportunity for these kids to going to higher level to niche. Uh, maybe the future is going to for opening the, the Australian national team. Some of them, the girls and. Uh, is dream and the boys also dream to playing for the higher level to the national team maybe Afghans national team and Australia national team maybe is a playing and uh, that's a way to the club uh, opening this uh, club to give it opportunity for the younger kids younger family to make it success these kids uh, from football and gelling together for the other culturism uh, the club is coming together is make it the joining with the other culture see the other culture and is make it gel with these people is make it like unite one family together this is a club always is supporting the all family uh, this is our purpose for this club we make it this club together make it uh, this case success is future and uh, girls and boys to make it success this like is a chain he's i make it this case opportunity opening opportunity for these kids and this kids is grow up opening the opportunity for the other kids the other girls and other boys is coming like from Afghanistan, India, Pakistan, Syria, uh, Europe country, to make it together to hear the gelling like it's a one family. And uh, uh, this year is good achievement for our club. Thank you for everyone to support us as a, always as a stand together, like as a one family, unite together. Thank you very much for everyone.